In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom Google map that you can share with friends or embed in your website that has directions from point A to point B with stops along the way. So in this example, you're going to go to google.com slash maps. So just google.com slash maps. And then over here on the left hand side, you're going to click on the little icon that looks like an arrow sign and click on that and you're going to start with your starting point. So in this example, where we're going to start is Brooklyn, Michigan. So I'm going to choose it from the list down here after I type it in. And we're going to end in Hell, Michigan. Okay, so now you can see my map has generated, has started. It's telling me it's 47 minutes or miles, no minutes, 34 miles. So now what I want to do is I want to add a destination along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and add Manchester, Michigan. Now you can actually add in specific spots like maybe you want to go to the Manchester High School or the park or something like that. So I could type in Waterloo State Recreation Area and that would show up. So let's go ahead and put in Manchester first and then let's add another destination. We'll do the Waterloo State and see how it just shows up. So we'll click that and then let's add another destination maybe Hudson Mills. Now, if I wanted to route this back to Brooklyn, I can actually, let's say we're doing a loop, I can actually go ahead and go back and do Grass Lake. Let's do a couple of different ones. And then finally, Brooklyn. Okay, so now you can see it's all over the place. So how do we fix it so it's a loop? Basically, you're gonna rearrange this information here. So we're gonna start with Brooklyn and I'm gonna just click on this little, um, circle right here and drag it up so I can go to Manchester next. And let's add Dexter in there. And again, you can add different places, you know, it doesn't have to be specific. All right, so after Manchester, I'm going to do Dexter Mill. And then I'm going to do Hudson Mills, and then Hell, Michigan, then Waterloo, Grass Lake, and Brooklyn. So now you see I have a big loop. Now, if I want to change where I'm at, let's say I want to take the scenic route somewhere along the way, I can actually come here, and if you notice, when you put my mouse over the lines, it has a little dot that it's added. So wherever I want to make the turn, I'm going to go ahead and put my mouse until I see this little dot, and then I'm going to click and drag it down, and it will move the map to where I want it to go. So if I want it to go somewhere else, I just click and drag here, and it will move until you get it in the spot that you want, okay? Now, this is gonna tell me an approximate time, how many miles, and details and information, and if I want, I can send directions to my phone, so you can actually click right here and it'll send directions to your phone, but if you wanna share this with other people, then you're gonna come up here in the menu on the left and click these three lines, and you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click Share or Embed Map, and it will give you a link that you can then send by text message, or you can click Embed and you can embed it in your website. So either way will work, you can even send it on Facebook. And that's how you create a custom Google map with stops along the way and driving directions. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot me an email at support at your site needs me .com. And have a great day. Yeah,